Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with Melissa Cole. All right, good afternoon, everybody. Well, we did track some showers move through the state earlier on. Right now, we're dry, and of course, we're cleaning up from the tropical storm, uh, and it's actually been a pretty active tropical season so far. In fact, a new outlook came out yesterday, um, calling this not only a record-breaking season because we've had nine named storms so far, but because the forecast going forward is expected to increase in activity. So we're going to have to wait and see how it all pans out, but of course, hurricane season doesn't end until the end end of November, so still many months to go and many names to get through. Uh, and again, we've had nine named storms so far and a typical season by early August, we've only had a couple. So as you can see, it's already been fairly busy. Right now in our live early warning pinpoint Doppler, not a whole lot going on. We had some rain that moved on through a little bit of sprinkle activity in southeastern Connecticut, which is diminishing and a few just over the border here from Massachusetts, uh, moving into Massachusetts, I should say. It was very active earlier across a, a lot of the northeast, but things have kind of quieted down. We have a stalled frontal boundary down to our south. That's been the focus of some heavier showers, uh, again, south of Connecticut. And we're also watching with going on to the west here some showers and thunderstorms coming across parts of Pennsylvania. So for the day today, a lot of the daytime hours will be dry, lots of clouds some breaks of sunshine, but we can't rule out the possibility of a shower or thunderstorm as we go on through the afternoon or early evening hours. So well, check out Futurecast, which really doesn't pick up on a whole lot of activity. I'll zoom through this timeline here. This is 4 o'clock this afternoon. Again, mainly dry. By 6, 7, there could be a couple of showers. It looks like most of the activity stays to the west of Connecticut. Then overnight, the clouds really fill back in. There could be a shower or two. And then as we go on through the day on Saturday, again, a shower or thunderstorm possible, but a lot of the daytime hours will be dry. And we're getting a nice break from the heat and humidity today and tomorrow, but really things heat up by Sunday. We're forecasting. 90 again. So just to kind of recap the season so far, we have had 29 days of 90 degree heat. Last summer season we had 27. Of course, we set a record in July for the most amount of 90 degree days ever recorded in a month. And so far this August we have had three. And guess what? We're forecasting 90 on Sunday and then 90s for most of next week. So we're going to add to that total even more. Right now, though, comfortable. 75 degrees, we'll take it. 77 New Haven, 74 in Putnam. Dew point numbers are also in the 60s, so it's not terribly oppressive outside. And here's a time lapse video from our ICAM in Hartford. And you can see that we have clouds and again, occasional breaks of sunshine over the last few frames. But really, the clouds kind of hang in tough for a good chunk of the afternoon time. Here's a live look outside from our ICAM in New London, 77, mostly cloudy, a little bit of brightening there as people are boarding the ferry, and 75 in Windsor Locks with calm winds. So today, again, temperatures topping out in the upper 70s, low 80s. Overnight tonight, between about 60 and 65 degrees, maybe a couple of degrees milder along the shoreline. Tomorrow, 83, there could be a shower or a thunderstorm in the afternoon, otherwise mainly dry. Sunday, hotter, 80s along the shore, 90s inland. And then look at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, each day well into the 90s with the chance for some afternoon thunderstorms.